All right, all right, all right. So what's the deal? It's the first episode. We're talking with Marshall. Even though I ain't got nobody right here right now talking with me, I'm going to still be able to talk too because you know I like to talk. You know what I'm saying? So what's the damn deal? First of all, let me tell y'all, thank you. If you do watch this you know, podcast, if you do check it out right now, I'm probably just going to drop it on my YouTube channel until I get it up to where I can just drop it on all platforms. You know what I'm saying? But if you haven't checked out the YouTube channel, it's John Marshall Productions. Y'all go ahead and make sure y'all subscribe. Y'all make sure y'all like the videos, share the videos, let everybody know what it is. But shit, it's the first episode. Let's go ahead and give it a round of applause. Let's see if I remember which one was a round of applause. <laughs> Hell nah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up. I'm supposed to know that. There we go. Go ahead and give myself a round of applause. So look, welcome, 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 welcome. So the first episode, man, I think I want to talk about, you know, like relationships and things that go on, you know what I'm saying, with women and stuff. Because, you know, I've been getting into it with a lot of people because of women. First of all, if you're in a relationship, let me tell you something. If you're a female in your relationship and you see me, don't look at me. Real talk. Because I'm tired of getting it to it with a whole bunch of niggas about they females, man. I ain't going to call them bitches and shit, but some of them is some bitches. But you know what I'm saying? I don't want to do that on this podcast. Everybody be like, oh, no, you you know what I'm saying? You know how people is. But look, the reason why I say this is because, look, I done got into it with about four or five people where I live at. You know what I'm saying? Because they females. They females like me. I don't know. I don't know. I know why they like me, you know what I'm saying? For course, it's because of good looks, you know what I'm saying? But it's also because the way I carry myself, how I carry myself is like, I don't give a fuck about shit. I'll always look mean, but I'm a very happy person all the damn time, you know what I'm saying? I could talk to anybody, I could speak to you. It don't matter what you look like, it don't matter what you is. If you walk past me, I might go and talk to you. I ain't gonna say nothing fucked up, you know what I'm saying? But I'll talk to you. I'm a very nice person. Yes, I talk to everybody. Yes, I say hi to the females or whatever it's what you're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? I was raised by a woman, so I should know how to treat a woman. You know what I mean? But like I said, man, I done got into it with so many people. With, oh, my God. It's ridiculous, man. They females just, y'all females trip me out. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all will sit here and just do the most in front of your man. But y'all say y'all love him. What is love anymore? You know what I'm saying? Just like Zero said, there ain't no love. You know what I'm saying? There's no love no more. I don't believe in love either. I want to, of course. I don't like having feelings because of shit. People don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? But y'all females trip me out. Let's see. Prime example. First story. It's probably the worst one. I got into it with a dude because his chick, you know what I'm saying, was eyeing me. I ain't know she had a dude or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't even know she stayed right here. She stayed right across the way. I ain't never seen her, none of that. Four of them walked past me. I'm like, damn, where y'all going? To the pool? They're like, hell yeah. I was finna take my kids anyway. I'm like, bet, I'm gonna go up there too, you know what I'm saying? So I go to the pool, and the neighbor went to the other neighbor went to the pool too. And this is a whole other story too, because this chick liked me too, you know what I'm saying? The other, the other neighbor went to the pool too, because she was supposed to go anyways, because she was, our kids started talking and everything else, you know what I'm saying? So. We were supposed to go to the pool, but so I get to the pool, the, uh, the four females that was there, you know what I'm saying? Didn't even know how their age, none of that shit, one word about them, just talking, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just uh, playing in the pool with my kids and shit, you know what I mean? And they kept looking, that's fine, you can look at me all you want to, you know what I'm saying? I'm a good looking dude, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, get them with the, hold it up, let me see them. You know what I'm saying? Get them, you know what I'm saying? I'm a little good looking dude, one more time. All right, <laughs> but anyway, so look. You know, we, we throwing football and shit. We we living life, you know what I'm saying? Pool, we got to look like a resort. So, you know, we out there living our life and everything. So, somehow the Friday thing popped up. The little saying was like, um, hi, Miss Parker. And uh, one of the chicks, she was like, when you going to let me fuck, Miss Parker? And we started laughing. So, look, that's what broke the ice for all of us to talk. So, we talked, whatever. I asked them what they was talking about, you know what I'm saying? What they, they just moved in, whatever. She said she just moved in, whatever. Okay, bet. So, boom. The whole time at the pool, she looking at me. All four of them was really looking at me, but this one was just looking at me. Looking, looking, looking. Okay, like I said, that's fine. You can look at me, whatever. But so later on towards the day, I don't know how the fuck. They end up, uh, what happened? Oh, yeah, my homeboy ended up coming to the pool, him and his son. They end up coming to the pool, too. So it got towards the night, you know what I'm saying? So we all talking, we all mingling, we all becoming friends and shit. And so... I asked her girl for her number. She gave me her number. Okay, bet. Nah, like I said, I ain't know she had a dude or whatever. So we end up. I end up texting the next day, and we started talking. Or whatever she said, she was gonna go to the pool again. I'm like, okay, bet. I'll probably end up going to whatever. My daughter was sleeping shit, so I was like, let me you know. Wait till my daughter get up or whatever. So I end up, you know, <clears throat> getting her up. So 
we end up going to the pool, we end up start talking, but we flirting and all type of shit, then boom, I found out she had a nigga. All right, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm not the dude to be sitting here trying to, you know, fuck with niggas' grills and shit like that, because that's not the type of dude that I am, you know what I'm saying? I ain't want nobody to do that shit when I was in a relationship, so why the fuck I'm going to do it to you, you know what I'm saying? But what I will say is she was bad, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I don't, I don't make no excuses, but anyway, so we had the pool talking, flirting and shit like that. Okay, bet. So her nigga ended up coming home or whatever. She ended up leaving the pool. Okay, bet. She, when I walked, let me see, when I went back to where I stay at, which is, you know what I'm saying, in the back, come around the corner, she talked to my partner and his son. Okay, bet. So they started, I guess they was arguing, whatever, because I could just tell by the way they was looking on their face. So I take my kids inside or whatever. I come outside and I go over there. I'm like, what's up, bro? You good? He's like, yeah, I'm good. I'm like, okay. He looked at me, gave me a look. He's like, well, what's up? I said, I'm just checking. You know what I'm saying? I'm just making sure you're good, bro. So yeah. So she started flirting and shit. You know what I'm saying? They was arguing or whatever. Well, they was already arguing before she was flirting. He just, she was like, he was trying to tell her to go in the house, go in the house. She's like, nah, I don't need to do that. Whatever. I'm not going nowhere. Blah, I was like, long story short. Towards the end of the day, end of the night, I get into it with this nigga. She started trying to, you know, her and her friends was her friends ended up coming back over here, and so she started dancing and shit, twerking and shit, all the other shit, and she's trying to dance to me. He came around the corner seat, and he was like, "I told you, I knew you was fucking my bitch. I knew you was fucking my bitch." I was like, "My nigga, I ain't even fucking your bitch, my nigga. But if you better, you better calm your ass down for I do fuck your bitch. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not even like that, like I was saying, bro. But so she flirting, we get into it. The nigga go, he calls his brother. His brother come, didn't say shit, was just standing next to me, so I sized the nigga up. So I'm like, what's up, nigga? He said something to me, pissed me off. So I told my partner, where the pistol at? He said, I got it. Bet. So I grabbed my pistol, he grabbed his pistol. We seen what it is. Just gonna put it on and see what it is. You know what I'm saying? Supposedly this nigga had a pistol on him too. I ain't know that. You know what I'm saying? So he really ain't say nothing. The dude got mad, was mugging and all the shit. The dude, the chick's dude got mad, was mugging and all the other shit. So he leave with the dude, he leave with his brother. They peel off or whatever, okay, bet. So we still partying, chilling or whatever. Then the nigga, uh, the nigga come back with a constable. And I'm like, okay, nigga, it's 1.30 in the morning. I ain't never seen no constable at this time of night, you know what I'm saying? So nigga come out with a constable, he show me his little, he flipped his little shit over. I ain't seen no badge. I'm saying, what the fuck you show me that for, you fake-ass constable? I ain't no fake-ass constable. I'm motherfucking, uh, I'm in the academy. I don't give a fuck what you is, nigga. What the fuck is you doing here, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? First of all, I'm not a fan of calling no police for shit. Unless a nigga had to call him for something else. You know what I'm saying? That some shit going on, somebody getting killed, something like that. You know what I'm saying? But I don't just gonna be calling no motherfucking louds just for motherfucking, just for play-play, just to try to scare niggas. That's what not what I do. So I'm like, what's up, nigga? What you want to do? You know what I'm saying? Ah, nah, bro. I'm just trying to make sure everything's straight. Everything is straight, my nigga. Because this nigga not finna do shit, bro. We live here. You know what I'm saying? We all three live here, bro. So what you trying to do, my nigga? Because after, afterwards, you still going to have to see me. You still going to have to see my partner. You know what I'm saying? So we get into it. Talking shit back and forth. So I got on the nigga ass. I said, nigga, you fake ass Johnny Bravo. Because the nigga hair was perfect. No homo. You know what I'm saying? But the nigga hair was perfect. One thirty night. Ain't no nigga hair supposed to be looking that goddamn good. You know what I'm saying? Nigga hair perfect. So I'm like, nigga, what your little Johnny Bravo ass looking ass nigga? I said, what your little motherfucking Lego hair dude, nigga? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Legos got that perfect ass hair. That's how that nigga shit was. And I'm like, damn, bro, your motherfucking uh, vest too goddamn nice, nigga, to be a motherfucking constable, nigga. He's like, bro, whatever, whatever. So I, they ain't them calling me upstairs. So I go upstairs and talk to him and shit. I'm like, what's up, nigga? What y'all want to do? He's like, bro, I don't appreciate you doing all this. I said, nigga, first of all, bro, you, you, you fucking with the hoe, nigga. You been telling me that you been going through this shit with this female and everything else, and you still fucking with her, my nigga. Like, what's the point? Why you sitting here mad at me, nigga, if you already knew she was a hoe, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? I ain't your partner. I don't even know you like that. So you shouldn't even be mad at me. You should be mad at this bitch. You know what I'm saying? She ain't one doing all this shit, bro. So long story short, every time a nigga seen me put his head down, he don't fuck with me like that. I don't fuck with him or whatever. So look, that's one story. What's another story? Second story is... At the end of all this, man, like, really, I just want y'all females to understand, man. Like, if y'all got a nigga, man, just just be about that nigga. And niggas, if y'all got a female, just be about that, bro. Don't don't try to sit here and motherfucking be flirting and all this other shit. That's why them relationships don't last in the first fucking place, especially if you already a hoe. You know what I'm saying? The female already a hoe or the nigga already cheating a lot. You know what I'm saying? That shit ain't going to work. I don't even understand why people think that shit is going to work because that shit does not work, man. Not work at all. <clears throat> Anyways... These bitches right here is crazy. I don't know what it is, man. What? Why do y'all think that and feel that y'all can just sit here and motherfucking uh, 
just flirt and just cheat and do all types of shit, man. Like, that's not how relationships work. You know what I'm saying? I miss the old relationships back in the day with these old people that had that, you know what I'm saying, that real love, you know what I mean? The internet is what fucked all these relationships up. We talking to people that we shouldn't even be able to have access to, you know what I'm saying? All niggas and bitches can just easily find somebody online and go visit them and now boom, you know what I'm saying? We're not a relationship, but now boom, we can fuck, we can do all that shit. It's just too easy. Relationships don't work no more nowadays if you got social media. It will not work. Social media will fuck your relationship up. First of all, because most people can't even get off of social media. People think that they just have to have social media. I got social media because I do podcasts, I do music videos, I do motherfucking YouTube, you know what I'm saying? That's why I got social media. Other than that, I don't even use it like that. I don't even post my kids on my social media. Every now and then I might post one or two pictures on Facebook of me and my kids. But that's it. That's not what my kids need to be on. You know what I'm saying? The world doesn't need to know everything that you do in your relationship. The world doesn't even know need to know this person bought you this, this person bought you that, because everybody's just doing that shit to try to fucking feel one up on somebody. And that's not how it works. Relationships are supposed to be two people coming together, loving each other, and motherfucking uh, just being there for each other. That's what the relationship's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? So I don't get what it is with relationships anymore. What, what would it take for two people to be happy? What does it take for a person to love that person for who they are, not who they're trying to be. Most people who are on social media is not really who they are. If you look at my social media, John Marshall Productions on YouTube, John Marshall Productions on Instagram, uh, JP Marshall 88 on TikTok, and then there's another one. What am I missing? Facebook, YouTube, John Marshall Productions everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Basically, so. If you go look at my shit, I'm the same motherfucking person. I have nothing, you know what I'm saying, to highlight that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be a whole totally different nigga. Like, nah, I'm the same fucking person that I always have been since day one. That's what you're supposed to do. Everybody who get on relationships, I mean, get on uh, motherfucking social media with relationships, y'all are not who y'all are, you know what I'm saying? Everybody just wants to look like the next person. Everybody wants the relationship to look like Beyonce and Jay-Z and shit like that. I'm just throwing relationships out there, you know what I'm saying? But not everybody's relationship is perfect, you know what I'm saying? Everybody just wants their relationship to be perfect. And the only way it's going to be perfect is if you're perfect within with that person that you're with, you know what I'm saying? Of course, everybody always says, well, nothing can be perfect. Perfect is just an idea and a definition of what somebody else said that in this box, this is what perfect means. And that's not well, that's not nothing, you know what I'm saying? Definitions of words are just what somebody made up and we believe all of that shit. But what would it take for two people just to really make it, man, and just be there for each other? That's what you're supposed to do, just really just be there for each other, always. So men need to still open up the doors for women, you know what I'm saying? Don't let them pump gas and shit like that, you know what I mean? Like, we need to be doing old school tactics, because old school tactics is why y'all still got grandma and grandpas together, why y'all still got mom and dads together, you know what I mean? I can't say everybody cheats, but a lot of people cheat. Cheating is not what you, you know, need to be doing. Of course, we all know that shit, but everybody's going to do that. You know what I mean? And that's not cool. But if you can just sit there and just love this person for who they are, love this person for what they do, love this person for how they are, then that's perfect. You know what I mean? That's perfect to me because why would you not? If you think you're, you're going to be in a relationship with somebody, why would you not give your all? You know what I mean? Why would you not sit here and just... Love, love up. Just give them everything that you have, your mind, your body, and your soul, and put all your effort in just to this one person. Somebody may look better than you. Somebody may look better than them, but that person should never come across anything that has to do with y'all because at the end of the day, that's y'all. Now, you women out here who's wearing all this fake eyelashes, fake nose, fake ass, fake titties, fake stomachs, fake all this shit, what makes you think that somebody's going to be real with you and true to you when you're not even real and true to yourself? You know what I mean? I, I, I'm i not knocking you women who doing that shit, but I am knocking you because, like, that's not... Not every nigga likes that shit, man, just to be honest with you. Like, not every nigga likes that fake-ass, big booty with the little hourglass-shaped waist. Like, nah, bro, not everybody likes that. I like natural. You know what I'm saying? No makeup, no fake hair. You don't need eyelashes. You don't have to have fake titties. You, you might got itty-bitties, you know what I'm saying? All titties matter. Shout-out to Carlos Miller. Hold up. <laughs> Shout out to Carlos Miller, man, because all titties matter. You know what I'm saying? But 
You don't have to be fake. You don't have to look like this next person. You don't have to look like the the Kim Kardashians and all that other shit. Because at the end of the day, when you fuck your nose up, your titties fuck up, your ass drop and flop, then what you got? Nothing. Now you got scars. Now you'll never be the same. You know what I'm saying? We are made who we are. Our creator, whoever made us, made us the way that we are. So why do we need to be somebody else? And this generation, when I grew up, I'm from the 80s, you know what I'm saying? Born in 88. When I grew up, nobody wanted to look like nobody. Nobody wanted to be nobody. I wanted to be myself. Everybody wanted to be themselves. Nowadays, everybody wants to be like each other. Everybody sounds like each other. All you women try to be in goddamn competition with each other to see who can got the fattest ass, who got the perfect body. They're like, for what? Because at the end of the day, you probably still ain't even happy. You happy because you're getting all this attention. But at the end of the day, you probably go home and be like, dang, I might look like this, but I'm still not happy. Most people who got billions and billions of dollars are not happy. Some of them are happy, but deep down inside, they, they, some money don't make you happy, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to make yourself happy. I've made myself happy for my entire life. I lost a child and everything else, but I'm still goddamn happy. I got to be. She would want me to be happy. You know what I mean? But I don't know. You women are just, y'all are fucking crazy, man. Like, I don't get why y'all do what y'all do. Now, let's talk about the niggas. You know what I'm saying? The niggas. I don't understand why you niggas all, all want to look like each other, want to sound like each other, got to have big old stacks and think that that's how you get women and everything. Nah, bro. That's how you get these fake-ass women, these fake-ass gold diggers. You know what I'm saying? Us as men need to be respectable. We don't need to be calling females bitches. We don't need to be calling them hoes. We don't need to be calling none of that shit. Some of you are, like I said, are bitches. Some of you are hoes. But we don't have to call every female that. You know what I mean? What's wrong with opening the door for a female? What's wrong with not letting a female pump their own gas? What's wrong with changing a woman's tire? You know what I mean? What's wrong with if you see a woman in need just to go help her and help her and that's it? Not even try to holler, not trying to do none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like... Everybody, every man always want to holler and catcall women and do all this extra shit. Like, nah, bro, that's why we got savage-ass women in the world right now. Because niggas want to be like, I got 50 women. For what, nigga? You know what I'm saying? The main you know, the main one that you need is right there in front of you. I got a partner and his son, bro. Like, he, 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 the chick love him. And, and I guess he love her too. But he just always like, ooh, that bitch fine. Ooh, that bitch. Like, bro, you really can't do that, my G. You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? She's like, oh, he do that all the time. That's not cool, bro. Because while you got a good-ass woman, you got a whole good woman, bro, right there. But you want to sit here and look at all these other women and everything else. But then when that woman leave you, you probably going to be sitting there crying and sad. for, her. And that's your fault, my G. You know what I'm saying? Like, it really is. It doesn't make sense to me how men are. You know what I'm saying? I used to be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? A little bit. I was never fucked up towards women. It was just... I don't know, not really, you know what I'm saying? That's my, if you hear that, that's my beard. <laughs> but I wasn't really fucked up towards women. It's just, you know what I'm saying? I was always, like, working a lot and just always trying to teach women a lot. I'm always trying to teach a woman a lot of shit. And I guess I come on off too strong because I'm always trying to teach them this, trying to teach them that, and trying to teach them shit that they probably in their head don't want to know. But at the end of the day, if I'm teaching you something, it's something that you should know. You know what I'm saying? If I'm teaching you about guns or if I'm teaching you about motherfucking... The world coming to an end and you need to do this, you need to do that, you should be able to listen. You know what I mean? You should listen because I'm only doing it because you need it. You know what I mean? Because if we don't work out or whatever, at the end of the day, what's going to happen whenever you don't know what you're going to do? You know what I'm saying? You're going to end up calling me anyways. So it's better to know when we're not together than to know why we are. No, it's just better to know, period. You know what I mean? It's better to know fucking period. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't get it. Relationships are just... Nowadays, a relationship don't even last, bro. Probably some more than six months. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. But relationships don't really last that long at all. And I don't really get it. I just want to be happy with one person. There's so many beautiful women in the world, but I just want to be happy with one person. I don't have to sit here and have a thousand women, ten women in my DMs, I mean, in their DMs and all this other stuff. I don't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? I really just want to be with one woman, hold it down, and do everything like I'm supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? But... Yeah, I don't been talking about 20 minutes, you know what I'm saying, for about relationships. But at the end of the day, man, like, seriously, just if you're with a partner and you're with somebody, love that person for who they are. Give that person your all. Don't make them this person repay for the last relationship that you was in because that ain't got shit to do with nothing. The past ain't got nothing to do with your future, you know what I'm saying, at all. It's already over and done with. You got no choice but to move the fuck on, man, like, for real. But, yeah, so... 
this is episode one. They're going to probably end up getting longer or whatever. My camera's going to die, and I don't feel like, you know, doing all this extra shit because it's going to fuck up my, my podcast. So that's why I'm really cutting it short. But at the end of the day, man, it's episode one. We're going to talk about relationships. Probably going to drop these once a week. Probably on Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, so I probably have to drop it today. You know what I'm saying? There ain't going to be much to edit it. But, yeah, appreciate y'all if y'all checking it out. Y'all comment down below and let me know how you feel about what I was talking about and everything else. And uh, until then, your boy is out, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Clap it up. Oh, that's the wrong one. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. You know what I'm saying? Clap it up. So, yeah. But I'm going to fuck with y'all, man. Episode 2 going to come out next week. And we, I don't know. I might have some people in here with me, you know, talking about other shit. You know what I'm saying? So, until then, man. Appreciate y'all.